the post he's doing this is <coughs> Miguel from embargo man well the elections and I might tell you what I'm talking about one particular brand you heard of the Hercules right it's an airplane I mean uh, this is something I see something this is very interesting on YouTube but then I then I read something about the Her the Hercules plane that's from Lockheed Martin I mean Lockheed used to have used to make airplanes I mean this is just mm, Boeing's domestic competitor here in the US right so the only thing is what you're facing is foreign competitors I mean put in this regulations the elections and all that stuff what will happen right ever since 2019 the 737 max was ground grounded and they gonna later on you know release it you know and then i saw a video about what's going on with boeing like they don't they just being lame safety standards the faa i mean this is one reason that after all this nonsense right so what would happen with this is that i mean there is going to be another 737 max getting crash i mean it's going to happen pretty soon next year regardless whoever don't whoever's president you know but one thing i notice even though for sure what might be possibility is the ceo i mean the ceo won't get fired i mean mullen was the ceo of boeing i don't know if he's still ceo but but the ceo of boeing will get the presidential medal of honor so this is ridiculous in one thing and this is the reason to have a, a, a local competitor i mean you have comac i mean probably comac are are, are not going to enter right here at u.s airports after the next boeing 737 max crashes they're not gonna enter u.s airports i mean there's a uh, aviation industry building up in Alabama. Airbus has a factory in Alabama. What would the FAA stands for, right? I mean, don't just stick their nose only to Boeing. I mean, after all, after all of this, Lockheed should enter the commercial aviation industry to compete with Boeing you know even though Boeing has bought McDonnell Douglas and they just blame it on McDonnell Douglas no it's just investors and just giving a you know a couple of hotheads that they don't know they just want to just make money just to sell faulty airplanes and they say oh yeah it's safe it's safe to fly it's safe to fly right so what will happen in there and why it is important for Lockheed to Lockheed Martin to enter, you know, the commercial aviation industry. You cannot freaking rely on the Hercules for airplanes. You know, I'm riding a Hercules. No, we could rely on some other models like the like the LM200 or the LM300. Probably somebody from Boeing would retire and join into Lockheed and bring back, you know bring Lockheed back to commercial aviation I mean Lockheed Martin I mean the LM code you would speak the L1011 or something like that, but the LM code right LM200 LM300 even LM800 right just to bet off you know the a uh, uh you know cover of the airbus a380 right so what would happen with this is that one part of the boeing 
crash of another 737 MAX will be about U.S. citizens. I mean, it's going to be an American Airlines flight that is going to crash. It's going to it's going to crash. It's going to be in Central America. I'll tell you what, but people from that particular country can have nothing to do with any political correctness BS crash in that country what is going to be counted for Boeing it is uh, probably depending on it it would be counted to be called profit profit for the company if it's US citizens they have condolences for US citizens if it's not US citizens is from that if it is from one particular country where they crash it. They just count it as profit. The CEO makes money. And except for like some people from other established countries, probably one guy from Japan passed, uh, died in a Boeing 737 MAX from American Airlines. Will be in, or this has happened next year. Will be like... Okay, Mitsubishi is going to enter. Like, imagine that Mitsubishi making airplanes to, uh, you know, compete against the Boeing 737 MAX. Even Qantas from Australia says the F you and given the middle finger to Boeing once a 737 MAX crashes and the Boeing CEO makes profit out of dead passengers. From that, from that country or the location where it's going to be reported. And those people from that Central American country where that Boeing 737 MAX from American Airlines, that crashes, becomes profit for Boeing. The CEO receives the Medal of Honor at, in Washington, D.C., making money out of dead passengers that died in that 737 MAX airplane on an American Airlines flight. And that's it was going to be. If that would be possibility, you know, and somebody, and then banning entering the Comac C919 airplane to enter, U, to enter on US airport just because of Boeing 737 MAX of an American Airlines flight crashes in Central America. I mean, <laughs> What would it be? Even, even, even our neighbor, <laughs> you know, to the south, would immediately ban the 737 Max again. It says, "Oh, their neighboring country have a 737 Max crash." Get it? Mexico would be banning the 737 Max, <laughs> but. Uh, I mean, that might be possibility, that might be a possibility, and probably the, the, the Comac C919 is banned for entering U.S. airports, you know, I mean, that's where go, and the, and the CEO of Boeing would make money from the passengers in that, in that, in, that, in those dead passengers in that Boeing 737 MAX, crash in an American Airlines flight who are not U.S. citizens or not from established nations becomes the profit for the company and the CEO of Boeing receives a Medal of Honor at Washington, D.C. making money out of turning dead people into, their, into profit, into money, you know, for Boeing. But this is where Lockheed Martin comes. But I mean, the FAA shouldn't have been so stupid. If you have local comp competition, Lockheed Martin enters into commercial aviation, they make a safer plane. And then what else? You have a, a, a local competition instead of international competition. It's like, you say, letting the Japanese and the Europeans Peans eating America's lunch in the auto industry. Why don't let them eat in the aviation industry, right? 
that means Lockheed entering to compete with Boeing makes a lot of sense. But if it's the CEO of Boeing would be like criminalized for making, you know, profits out of dead people, then it would be, you, you know, the risk would take would be is the guy's gonna go is gonna get arrested for corporate fraud for turning dead passengers who are not U.S. citizens and that that are not from established nations to crash in that 737 MAX of an American Airlines flight goes to jail. Lockheed Martin enters into, into commercial aviation to compete against Boeing and probably the pre oh, who might be the president would uh, use a Lockheed Martin plane, Air Force One instead of a Boeing plane, you know, put like, or in other words, putting Boeing out of business from another U.S. based company making safer planes. The FAA, uh, isn't that not like Boeing is making faulty planes? Screw Boeing. Let's go with Lockheed. <laughs> not just in the military, but in the commercial airlines. You know, we're not gonna go with the Hercules. Oh, there's other models that I've seen, and then that's it. That's all what I would say. This. What would happen to this if Lockheed enter commercial aviation to compete with Boeing? That means another U.S.-based company entering commercial aviation not instead of doing fighter jets and all that stuff like with mcdonald douglas does to do but that's why the uh the government or the military are in, like favoring lockheed because boeing screwing screwing things up so for the commercial aviation not even caring but lockheed martin into the, the commercial aviation competed with boeing and Airbus and the newcomers, Comac from China, Mitsubishi from Japan, and and Airbus, who has a factory in Mobile, Alabama. It would be great that you have a local competitor against international competitors, even a local competitor, another US based company, who is taking another. U.S. one of the main U.S. based company Boeing out of business that Lockheed Martin shut them down well it would be possible it would be possible that would be possible even whoever is going to be president whoever is going to be president I mean I mean in a conservative side then uh, I would say this, like if if this goes in the, is in the conservative side, then the CEO of Boeing would earn money out of dead people who died in a 737 MAX crash in Central America from the Central American country who are going to die becomes profit for Boeing, then the CEO of Boeing will get a Medal of Honor saying to make it the safest plane for being, you know, Presidential Medal of Honor at the Washington, D.C. If it goes on the conservative side, if it goes liberal, then the CEO goes to jail for this kind of crap. You know, Lockheed Martin gets into commercial aviation, compete against a, se a Boeing 737 MAX, then another U.S. based company, it will, it, it will take Boeing out of business and will probably, that president, whoever might win, switch from Boeing to Lockheed. <laughs> I mean, it's all, in, it's, it's all in the odd things. But I, I'll tell you to my concern, if Lockheed Martin would get into civil aviation to compete with Boeing, 
737 Max, the 787, even if it's flaws. And then Lockheed Martin know how to do their stuff. And they're doing what Boeing used to do back in the day when they care about safety. Then it'll be a bigger challenge for Boeing having a local competitor. It's like saying Harley Davidson get it getting a run for its money because indian is making a better product <laughs> or like chevrolet making a better product than ford or vice versa so both u.s based companies but the u.s based company that makes a better product take the u.s based company that makes the crappy product out of business you know, because safety is the main concern, and I mean, for another U.S.-based company to enter into aviation, like Lockheed, enter into the aviation industry, the civil aviation industry, commercial aviation industry, that means well, Lockheed will focus more on safety than Boeing does. Why? Because what's going on, wherever it is, what would happen with it is, Whoever is president, Boeing will lose money, even if the CEO earns the Presidential Medal of Honor, that he'll make, he'll earn the Presidential Medal of Honor for making the safest plane, even though making money out of dead people who died in a Boeing plane that crashed in Central America. That are from a Central American country that they become profit for the Boeing company. You know, is that is that like a CEO from a dead company earning the Presidential Medal of Honor. And then the only U.S. based company will be left out is Lockheed. Lockheed entering the U.S. aviation industry would be great. It is a win-win situation if Boeing screws up. You have Lockheed making a better and safer product. Lockheed Martin. I mean, it started with the LS200. L I mean, better yet, why Lockheed to entering that, uh, that market? They need to start in Brazil. Get M uh, uh, acquire Emperor in Brazil and then call it the LS100 or the LS200. I mean, the LM100 or the LM200. The LM200 or 100, you know, regional, yeah, be, and after that, they're going to start big, they're going to start big uh, in 2021, even on the day that a Boeing 737 MAX crashes, Lockheed will make an airplane here in the United States that competes with seven, but the Boeing 737, the LM 200 or 300, well, that Boeing CEO, like it or not, whoever might be president, either goes to jail or earns a medal of honor, presidential medal of honor, by making money out of dead passengers who died in a Boeing 737 MAX plane from American Airlines who came from that particular country in Central America where the news are going to advise, oh, these people become profit. Boeing CEO er, er, earns the medal, the Presidential Medal of Honor, or whichever the case may be, Lockheed Martin should re-enter or should enter civil commercial aviation to compete with Boeing. Why? Because this is what makes this country great, is to have local competition, not only have you know, competitors only from Japan and Europe and China to compete in the aviation industry, let America, another U.S.-based company, go against the main U.S.-based company that has gobbled off McDonnell Douglas since 1997. I mean, please subscribe to Embargo Man and please write me a comment. What do you think about what if Boeing... McDonnell Douglas enters the picture in the civil aviation, civil aviation to compete against Boeing, and if Boeing CEO 
earns a medal of honor from making profit of turning dead people who are from Central America who died in a 737 MAX that it came from, an, from American Airlines. So, goodbye and peace out. And please hit the bell button for more notifications.